Now our next speaker, well I, I guess for the last while we've been trying to figure out what exactly is the central message of the Speak Out Challenge. And Jack, our next speaker, summed it up because he said that what the challenge has taught him, as long as you're passionate about what you believe in, no matter how minor the issue, then it's always possible to reach out to people. And I think if everybody here tonight and all our speakers involved over the last nine months can take that on board, we're going to have a very successful future for everybody. So it's really appropriate that tonight he's speaking on a subject called adverts. Representing Greenwich, please give a huge welcome to Jack Mountain. to young people making speeches? <laughs> Are you looking for something with a little more wow factor? If so, then tune into my speech. It refreshes the parts that other speeches cannot reach. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I am here today to talk to you about the thing we all love to hate, adverts. Nothing infuriates me more than this. I sit down to watch my favorite film, and just as Bond is just about to say, Bond, James Bond. <laughs> adverts. Adverts nowadays are everywhere we go, and no matter how many times we flick through the channels, turn down the volume on the radio, or avert our eyes from the posters that litter our environment, they somehow manage to annoy us, day after day after day. The average child in the UK spends nearly one week a year watching television adverts. Even worse than this is the fact that, and now, a quick word from our sponsors. <laughs> Are you going crazy looking for cheap car insurance? <laughs> you could save money with Confuse.com. Hi, Barry Scott here, asking whether you have problems with limescale rust ground in dirt. For bonds of car insurance deals, girls get onto Sheila's wheels. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the story of my life. The slogans that go round and round in my head. The thing that drives me to the brink of insanity. And the very reason I'm here talking to you all today. But seriously, ladies and gentlemen, why must we stand this constant torture in our everyday lives? Believe it or not, adverts do have a purpose, and not just as Britain's number one source of irritation. Advertising in the UK employs around 814,000 people, making up 2.9% of the total workforce. Some adverts are so effective that they persuade us to part with our hard-earned cash, usually on something we really don't need. But remember, even without that L'Oreal miracle working shampoo, you're all still worth it. I will leave you with this message. Adverts. Irritating, inconvenient, and often just plain stupid. But where will we be without them? <laughs> Congratulations to Jack Mountain, the Greenwich Champion. I wouldn't mind having a sit down there for a while, actually. <laughs>